Let's get it. Yes, sir. What up, fam? It's your boy, G Ridge. Yes, sir. We going old school today, fam. Yes, yeah, sir. It's that time of the year. It's cool outside. It's on and popping. Yes, yeah, sir. It's going to be lit up in this kitchen. Listen, fam. I have 12 pounds of neck bones. I'm going to show you them in a minute. 12 pounds of fresh neck bones, all right? Clean them off. Don't paddle them dry as best I can, okay? Now, listen, fam. You know when you cook your neck bones, it's going to take between three and four hours, all right? And there's a lot of ingredients, especially if you want it, you know, old school style, old fashioned style. Yes, sir. Anyway, I made some neck bones before and I use a couple of different ingredients. I'm doing it a different way this time, all right? So I'm going to talk you through it, then I'm going to walk you through it, all right? So here we go. Now, these are the ingredients that you definitely going to need, all right? I had, Like I said, I have 12 pounds. And for, and for that, we're going to use, now you can use flour, all-purpose flour, but I'm going to use cornstarch this time, okay? All right? Apple cider vinegar. You got vegetable oil, garlic powder, onion powder, mm -hmm. black pepper, some of that beef bouillon, we're going to sit that right there, some of that Spanish paprika or paprika, yes sir, I got one can of diced tomatoes, yes sir, we're going to make some good old stew neck bones, all right, some parsley flakes, all right, you got some coarse sea salt, that's what I'm going to use, or you can use kosher salt, all right. I have three potatoes cut up. They're soaking in water right here. And I also have two pounds of mixed veggies. Yes, sir. I got one large cut up onion. Mm -hmm. And I got one bell pepper cut up. I also have some four cups of water. Um, okay, fam, so what we first gonna do is, all right, so we got the neck bones here. As you can see, big pot and big uh, bowl of neck bones. That's what you're gonna use, okay. I have one fourth of a cup of the, of course, uh, sea salt, okay? Let's stick all that flavor up in there. Spread it all around, okay? That's all you need. Okay, one tablespoon of black pepper. All right. Now you're going to go with two tablespoons of beef bouillon. I'm going to season them this time. I'm going to season them first this time. Instead of sitting in the pot and then put all the seasoning in there. Watch. It's going to be real good. Stick with your boy. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. Mm-hmm. It's going to season the water. All right. Now you're going to need like one-fourth of a cup of onion powder. All right. And also, fam, I forgot to tell you, I'm going to use one pack of the Lipton Beefy Onion Soup Mix. Yes, sir. I almost forgot it. All right. Now, right here, we're going to stop right here. Right here, fam, I have a the new oven fryer. Teresa is going to do a review on it. But we're going to break this open soon, okay? It's an oven air fryer. Yes, sir. We're going to break it open. All right. Now, back to the season. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put one-fourth of a cup of parsley flakes on there. We're going to get it good and seasoned up for you, fam. All right. And we're going to go ahead and pour one-fourth of a cup of cornstarch in there. One-fourth of a cup. All right. I will put all the ingredients in the description area, okay? Okay. It's a big, big uh, container here, but it's only two tablespoons of Spanish paprika. This gonna be good, fam. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, so these are the seasons that we're gonna go ahead and mix up now. We also got uh, water, the apple cider vinegar, and then the uh, the oil, vegetable oil. They're, they're gonna go in there um, after I put the water in the pot, uh, and we put the neck bones in the pot with the water, okay? That's when we're going to put that stuff in there, all right? First thing we're going to, but then we're going to let the, when, the, when I put that stuff in there, we're going to let 
the neck bones boil for like two hours. Then after two hours, that's when we're gonna add the potatoes, the veggies, and the onions and bell peppers. It's gonna be a thing of beauty. And that and that that and that that and at that time, that's when I'm gonna add the one pack of the Lipton beefy onion soup mix. It's going down today, fam. Nice and lit. All right, let's get dirty. So you know, you know, you like, or you can do yours different. You can make a slurry out of your um, cornstarch or your flour. Look at that, it's gonna be good and flavorful. Stick with your boy. All right, so if you do it the other way, that's okay. But if you want to do it G-Rich way, this is the way we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Look at all that flavor sticking onto the meat. All that flavor. The season on the drop down to the bottom, see there? Just keep flipping. Every meat gonna get touched. You can see it. Mm -hmm. See, with that uh, uh, flour or the cornstarch that's, that I put on the meat, which I put the cornstarch along with the potatoes, it's gonna make that make that little sludge you need in your stew. Okay, in your neck bone stew, it's gonna make that little sludge. You know, where it's a little thicken it up a little bit for you, cause you want it like a stew. Not like a soup, but like a stew. Mm -hmm. Now look at that. Mama, that go that man right there, mama. Look at that, look at the season on that fam. Huh? Look at the season on them me. Come on, man. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move to the next phase. We're going to get our pot together. And um, we're going to put the neck bones and stuff in them. Add the water and the oil. Okay? And then... We're gonna let it boil, all right? So hold on tight, I'll be right back. All right, fam, so here we go. This is one half a cup, one half a cup of vegetable oil. Put it in there. Okay, fam, we're gonna go ahead and add the neck bones in there. Sit them all in there. Place them in there. Ooh, there's some big neck bones too, and they're full of meat. Everybody eat off this here, fam. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, you, you see how much uh, seasoning and, and ingredients I had? That's for 12 pounds, though. You see? Now, if you want to do half that, you do half the moderation on your seasoning, okay? That's, you, that's it. Do the math. Like I always say, you do the math. Do it how you want to do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, fam, you hear that? You can smell it already. Mm-hmm. Okay, you see that? All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and add this just four cups of water right here. Okay, we're probably going to need some more, but that's all right. I don't want it to dominate the pot. I want to come a little bit under like level with the meat yeah you hear mm -hmm. so that's all this is a four cup container okay we're gonna get some more water we're gonna stew it up good and perfect for you fam Season, you can see that water seasoning up already. Ooh. Okay, so it took eight cups of water. That's where I wanted it. Not too high. Right there. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a thing of beauty. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead 
and add the one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Okay, so we're going to let this cook for like two hours. That's when we're going to come back and add everything else. All right? So hold on tight. I'll be right back. I'll see you in two hours. Look at that, fam. One hour in. Look at it. Look at that brown. Look at that. Look at the broth in there, fam. What it done made. This is just one hour in. We'll be back in another hour. All right, fam. Two hours down in. Let's go. All right, so we're going to take this bowl. This is like two pounds of mixed veggies. We're going to, all right, so spread it out. Let it fall down up in there. Yeah, it's a little starting to come together, ain't it? Look at that family. Mm, 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 mm. Now we're going to pull the onions in there. Look at look at how it's thickening it up. See, see what I'm saying? Only till now you understand what I'm doing. It's a hearty meal with everything in it. You can leave it like this here. Or you can still add rice to it like we do down here in the dirty dirty. Because you know I'm supposed to put potatoes in here. I'm not going to add to potatoes. So I'm not going to add the potatoes until um, the last hour, okay? Okay, now we're going in. I'm going to use, I was thinking I'm going to use one half bag of the Lipton Beefy Onion Soup Mix, okay? Just one half a bag. I got this thing seasoned so good, fam. All right. I should do it. You see that? Okay. Push it down in there just a little bit. It's a little rough. Ooh, we look at that, fam. Okay, so. All right, so we're going to let it cook for another hour. Now, between the last 30 minutes to an hour, we're going to come. We're going to pull the water off the potatoes and we're going to add on top of the, the potatoes we're going to add the one can of diced tomatoes and you got an all-in-one pot family yes you do so hold on tight i'll be right back look at that all right fam it's time yes sir you can see him look at him getting tenderized mm-hmm gonna go ahead and add the potatoes spread them out However you want to do it, they'll cook down. Oh yeah, the neck bones are softening up, family. They're soft. So cook it for one more hour. That way the potato, the potatoes will be ready. Yes, sir. Alright, now we're going with the can of diced tomatoes. And once it starts to cook down, everything will incorporate itself together. Yes, sir. Do them things right on up. Alright. So now we're gonna sprinkle some black pepper on it. Sprinkle it over the top just like so. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. On in there. Let this thing cook down. Alright. Alright. So hold on tight. I'll be right back. And also Look at that golden, beautiful fried chicken for my son, Corey. Yes, sir. Hold on tight. We'll be right back. And there's my finished plate, fam. <laughs> Look at that. OMG. Let me go at it this way. I don't want the shadow so you can see that the richness in there. Yes, yeah, sir. That's how you stew up some neck bones. Yes, sir. Old fashioned style. G rich style. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, listen, fam. It's been a pleasure. Now, I got to get all these ingredients and, and, and put them in the uh, description area for y'all because I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Nice and fully flavorful. Love y'all to life. G-Rich out. It's another one. And you're mine.